Hi, I'm Dwayne Henderson with Cree Lighting's training and education team, and I'm joined by Eric Hardesty, product manager at Cree Lighting. And today we're here to announce the exciting launch of our Guideway Streetlight. So Cree Lighting has a rich history in LED streetlights. The Lightway product launched in 2008 really started it all. We had a lot of success with this platform. It was in its day best in class performance. How have things changed as we look at Guideway? Well, some of it hasn't changed. We're still striving for best in class performance. Great. Still striving for a level of reliability in our products. Um, as you mentioned, we've been doing street lighting for a while, since 2008, so we've learned some things too. Technologies have also advanced, so what we're doing here is we are really just continuing a reliable product with some ease of use, even some things we've learned since the first generation in that regard, and a uh, high level of optical performance. So looking at our Guideway street light, it looks a little bit different. Most notably the optical system, we're calling it Nano Comfort Technology. What's that all about, Eric? Yeah, Duane, Nano Comfort Technology is a system designed to provide a high level of application performance, high efficacy, and low glare. Low glare, mm -hmm. so how was that achieved? Well, a couple of things going on here for low glare. Firstly, we've taken advantage of mid-power LEDs. Okay. So we're using more LEDs, each one being less intense. So the light distribution is spread out over more sources, which reduces the intensity of it when it's in the field of view. On top of that, our engineers have carefully designed facets into each of these optics that further break up the source image and push the light where it needs to go in the space. Right. And then I noticed we have a, a piece of glass that's a little bit different from some of our other street lights. What's that all about? Yeah, this glass is here to provide a nice uh, IP66 seal over this optical chamber in the luminaire so that dust and water cannot get in here and affect the LEDs. Let's talk about the aesthetic. That looks a little bit different. How did we arrive there, Eric? Yeah, Dwayne, so you know, we talked about the mid-power LEDs. Um, those don't require as much heat sinking as perhaps some older technologies an LED would have. So that allowed us to make a nice, sleek, low-profile design. Mm -hmm. It's also lightweight. This is a 30,000 plus lumen model, for example, here that weighs only 18 pounds. So lightweight, even a product manager can lift it. And the installers will love it. So Eric, we have uh, three housing sizes, a small, a medium, and a large. Let's talk about lumen packages and distribution types. All right, Dwayne, so we do have a small up to about seven or 8,000 lumens. This medium is about 17,000, and the large is up to 30,000 lumens. Each has the same distribution types, type two, three, four, and five. There are actually two type twos, one that's your more traditional type two medium, if you will, and one that is a narrow road type two that is designed for roads that are not very wide. Backlight control? Backlight control, we do have field installable backlight, cul-de-sac, and front light shields available. And then lastly, we talked about high efficacy, is this DLC qualified and things like Dark Sky and Luna? Yes, we are planning to have DLC, including Luna, and Dark Sky certification on this product. All right, Eric, let's talk about color temperatures. Uh, what's new here? Well, Duane, we have our widest range of CCTs yet in a street light. We have 2200, 2700, 3,000, 4,000, and 5,700 K. So the 2,200 K sounds like high pressure sodium. Is it the same poor color rendering we're used to? Not quite. It's going to be a little bit better. Actually, a lot better. It's going to be 80 CRI in the 2,200 K, and the rest of the CCTs are 70 CRI. It looks like we've retained a lot of the features that customers really like. Let's talk about those. Yes, Duane. So first of all, we have the seven pin photocell receptacle. That is our lift and lock receptacle that you might have seen on an RSW or OSQ previously. We also have a utility label on the door of every luminaire that has the watts, lumens, and CCT per the ANSI standard. Inside the product, we've got leveling steps and an included T-level, a three-position terminal block that is set so that it's straight in wiring from the pole arm. We've got a wildlife guard in here. We've also got a surge protector, 10 kV standard, 20 kV optional. And this particular model has an optional Q9 control, which is a field adjustable output with nine settings that can be changed in the field. And still with the tool of Sentry. So Eric, you have an orange piece of paper. What's that all about? Well, Duane, this orange piece of paper indicates a QR code label that's a new yeah. thing in this product. Every one we build is going to have this. It tells the customer useful information like the product name, the build date, things of that nature, so they can identify it. 
Everyone built is going to have this QR code label installed inside of it, and it also comes with a couple of extra labels here that the customer could put wherever they want where they think it will help them. The luminaire door, a pole base, a sheet of paper, what have you. So let's talk about reliability. I know a lot of work goes into these products up front even before launch. Yeah, Duane, so each of these is assembled in our facility in Racine, Wisconsin, and each one is tested at the end of the assembly line before it goes into a box to ship to a customer. Before that, during the design phase of the product, they go through an extensive battery of reliability testing in our state-of-the-art labs here in Racine. And the warranty? The warranty is five years with an optional 10-year warranty. We brought out the bronze and the black uh, housings here. Let's talk about the available colors. Sure, Duane. So we have bronze, black, and white available in this product family along with gray. And the application reach? Yeah, so we've got lumens and color temperatures to cover the full range of 70 to 400 watt high pressure sodium, typically street lights out in the wild. So we can light residential streets, collector and arterial streets, uh, highways, byways, pretty much the full gamut of roadway applications. And we also have the types four and five optics. And sometimes we find that our customers will use these as area lights. Time to wrap up. Why should utilities and municipalities use our Guideway Streetlight? Well, Duane, Guideway is a reliable and affordable solution. It is high performance and has a low glare optical system, which is a unique feature among streetlights. Right. Thank you, Eric, and thank you for joining us and learning more about our Guideway Streetlight.